Hello, today I am going to discuss a very important topic that is how to declare death and guide on how to break the news to closed one. Before we go deep into the topic, I will be using an example from my previous hospital where I worked in my country Malaysia. Therefore what I am saying in this video can differ in different hospitals. Please follow your hospital or institution guidelines. Keeping that aside, let us go. Usually it's the nurse that will alert you regarding this and in my hospital, the nurses will usually use the phrase, doctor, patient is unresponsive. They will never say the patient is dead or something like that. When you hear the term unresponsive, the first step is to go and attend the patient. This step is simple but very important. In Malaysia, nurses are also writing their documentation. Imagine if they write, inform doctor, doctor did not attend the patient. This is very detrimental and later you can be charged legally. Now you are at the bedside of the patient. You should first call out the patient's name loudly and shake his shoulders. In summary, you need to provide numerous tactile stimuli like pinching the nail bed and things like that. Why is this important? It is important because he is considered unresponsive. Maybe some stimuli can cause him to regain response. That is the purpose. And calling the name, you are also confirming the identity. You can also check the wristband to ensure you are dealing with the right patient. Next are the clinical examinations, the way I remember is to check from the head, then neck and finally chest so that I do not miss anything. Next, make sure you check the pupils by shining your pen torch. Normal pupil will respond to light stimulus by shrinking. If the pupils remain fixed and dilated, that is one of the signs of death. Next, we move to the neck. Feel for the carotid pulse for at least one minute. If the person is deceased, there is an absence of carotid pulse. A major mistake I saw many junior doctors make is that they couldn't locate the carotid pulse. Comment your answer below if you know the correct location of the carotid pulse. Then, look for chest rise which is the sign of the patient breathing. If there is no chest rise, that's another sign. The last is auscultate the chest area for at least one minute. What are you looking for? You are trying to hear the heart sound as well as breathing sound. In deceased person, you will not hear both the sound. If the patient is attached to a cardiac monitor, it will be a straight line. If all those things that you have checked for is absent, then you can assure the person is deceased. When you are confirmed, the person is deceased, look at the time and take note of it. That is the time of death. Now, the person is deceased, what are your next steps? Things may be different in different countries but in Malaysia, the first doctor to confirm death is the houseman or known as the intern. Most of the time the medical officers will not be around. The houseman needs to call the medical officer on call and inform about the incident. Why is it important? The reason is that in the death certificate, which is a legal document, only medical officers are allowed to certify death and not the houseman or intern. The last function of the houseman is writing documentation. The documentation must include the patient particulars, the individual who first noted the patient to be unresponsive, the examinations done, time of death in 24 hours format and the cause of death. At the end of the documentation, you are required to write your particulars which include your position, the time and sign. Breaking the news is usually done by the medical officers but rarely have I to break the news to the family members myself. There is no correct and wrong way in doing this but I will give you my way of approach. Assume the family members are present outside the ward, I will go and meet them personally. Then I will ask for the closest member to step forward and in isolation I will explain the entire incident. A word of caution, always be straight to the point and avoid talking unnecessary things. As usual there are quiz questions. Pause this video and answer them. Comment your answers below. As usual please like, comment and subscribe if you find this video useful, as this will motivate me into doing more videos like this. Don't forget you can request your biology or medicine topics via the Google form that is linked in the description below. Thank you and see you all in the next video.